So I was sitting at a railroad crossing, waiting for a train, and I got to thinking about what would happen if that train hit a car. In this video, we'll be going over how to find the final velocity after a perfectly inelastic impact with a train and car. So we have a car with a mass of 2,000 kilograms and is traveling at 0 meters per second and is stuck on the railroad track. There is a train coming with a mass of 20,000 kilograms and is traveling at 27.8 meters per second. This is equivalent to about 100 kilometers per hour or about 60 miles per hour. We want to solve for the velocity of the car and train after they collide. Bam! We also want to find out what the acceleration is of the car and how many g's it is pulling. We will assume that the collision lasted 0.05 seconds and that is a perfectly inelastic collision, meaning that the train and car are perfectly fused together into one solid mass. This means that the mass times velocity, or momentum in other words, is conserved. The kinetic energy, however, is not conserved. So the formula we'll be using is mass total times the velocity final equals the mass of the train times the velocity of the train plus the mass of the car times the velocity of the car. This is a simple equation that shows that momentum is conserved. The initial momentum of the train is transferred into the momentum of the train and car combined. Being that the car has zero velocity, we can eliminate the mass times velocity of the car from the equation. We are left with the mass of the train times the velocity of the train is equal to the mass total of the system times the velocity final. The mass total is simply the car's mass plus the train's mass. In this case, it is 22,000 kilograms. We can now plug in the mass total and rearrange the formula to have velocity final to one side. After plugging all of our numbers into our calculator, we are left with the velocity final being equal to 25.27 meters per second. Now we need to find the acceleration felt by the car. We can do this by taking the delta of velocities, or in other words, the change of velocity, over the time of the collision. We get that the car's acceleration was 505.4 meters per second per second. Now for our final step, we will take the acceleration that we found over the acceleration due to gravity to get how many g's the car's pulled. It pulled 51.51 g's of acceleration. This means that it experienced 51.51 times the acceleration due to gravity. That concludes this video. Thank you for watching. Hopefully I earned a like, share, or subscription. If you like this video, you may also enjoy one of these videos.